Welcome to the channel. My name is Doug. I'm Ashley. And we live out in the country. In case you're just joining us, we have been renovating an old barn on our property, getting it ready for livestock. This barn is a metal structure that we're in right now, and it was in pretty bad shape when we bought this property, but we were determined to bring it back to life. We're finally ready to reveal the progress on our barn renovations. So we have it all painted and it looks awesome, but there's still a lot of work to do. So it's not 100% yeah. finished. Now we learned that this barn was actually a body shop down in Fort Wayne, Indiana originally. And it was moved here sometime in the 1970s, we're guessing. Um, and since then, it's just been neglected. It was used for a couple years, but uh, mostly just for storage, I believe, most of mm -hmm. the time and it's finally seeing life again and it's going to be used now for animals at our our small farm so it's yeah. going to be really cool that it went from a body shop in the city to a barn in the country so that's really a big change yeah for the barn as well and we're really happy with how it's coming out so i guess we will show the progress from the beginning and i hope that you guys enjoy the transformation just as much as we do if you look over here we got this epic old metal barn. We'll show you that right now. Cable puller to it, and we're gonna see if we can get this footing to move. This is successful. Okay, wow, look at this mess. This is what we've been doing. It's all opened up. We're getting it prepared for the metal. We're gonna be buying wood to frame up inside here so we can attach our new metal to it. I took down all this metal, come down because it was all rusted and falling apart. Do I want to cut it or not? You know, once you cut it, you can't go back. Well, that's finally done. Um, I was nervous to make the cut, but we did it. back now and ready to work. So we're gonna get right into it, mixing the concrete and stuffing it in the holes and hope it works well. We are done with the footings. So I decided to try this product, it's Rust Cutter, and basically, or Crud Cutter, Rust X, and it's basically gonna convert the rust into a paintable surface. We're gonna start up high, squeeze it out, and then work it down. We're ready to start priming. It's a beautiful day. We already have a late start in the morning, so we're gonna get right into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this. And like this. This one's yours. And this one's mine. We won't be so get too tangled up.
day number three, first we did the rust converter, then the primer. I also used up whatever primer I had left in an inside here. You can see I just primed anything that was really rusty and corroded that needed to be protected a little better. And as you can see, I did ruin my clothes. And now it's painting day. So we got the primer done. We got the, the paint all done. We got some touch-up work to do. Last night it rained and we didn't expect that at all. So we woke up and we had a mess because some of the paint ran and it got on the on the colors mixed and there were some spots that were showing. We had no, it, it was just a disaster. We're gonna get right back to work on this barn so we can get it done and show you guys. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for, from Rusty Garage to Country Barn, here it is. Look at that. <laughs> There's the, the new barn, all fresh with new paint and new metal. Let's check it out. We are so happy with how this turned out and it looks awesome. You can see we put a window in up above to let some natural light into the barn. And um, these, two pan these two sections are all new metal, but the rest is just the regular old metal. We painted it up. Yep. We still have to put the garage door on. We have to replace some windows. We have to fix the door on the side, but it's coming together and it's so cool. Yeah, it looks so good. We know the roof is in rough shape and eventually we're gonna do something with that. But for now, that's okay. So what do you think of the colors, guys? <laughs> Nobody guessed red or brown. Yeah. We got green and tan and everybody else guessing, guessing all kinds of good guesses. But nobody <laughs> guessed this and we think it's awesome. We decided to go, our original idea was red and white. We wanted to go farm. We were gonna say this is a farm loud and clear. But then the red and white is kind of overdone and we wanted Plus to- Plus the white gets dirty. We wanted to do something a little bit different. So we got looking around and this is something that Ashley came up with. Yeah. Red and brown and it looks rich, it looks good and it's- It looks regal. Yeah. It's really epic. <laughs> it's awesome. Some of you with an observant eye might notice that this section is a little bit crooked and that's because it's an old uneven barn. The, the posts are at different heights because the ground we just had to go with it so the metal's a little bit skewed but it's just yeah we wanted to do it that way so that the window would be the same size without any yeah. staircasing and... yeah the window actually goes at an it's all at an angle so yeah. we just had to work with it you got to work with these old structures you can't you can't fight it so that's our first major project i think since being at this property it came out so epic and it's coming out good the next thing we're going to do is, like I said, probably get the garage door up and get it closed in. And the neighbor came over and he thought it was just so cool. The, yeah, he came <laughs> out of the way. I was, when I was painting, he came over and said, wow, this is looking good. So that was awesome. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And until next time, take care. Bye.